Welcome to Module 6, Online Weather Spotter Resources. This module will cover ways you can get information from the National Weather Service and various ways you can post your information and reports using social media and the internet. You will also be shown how to sign up as a Skywind Weather Spotter. Use our web page for information about approaching storms. You can find this at www.weather.gov sacramento. There are a wealth of resources here, such as the point-and-click forecast map, current conditions, radar, and satellite. One of the most useful things you can find on our page to get a quick idea of what's going on is the weather story. When you click on the weather story, you'll get a large version showing some of the big concerns that we have about weather for the coming week. In this case, you can see there's a winter weather advisory out for the mountain and there's some details on the hazards here on the right. These weather stories are customized for the weather concerns that we have at that time. Another way you can get information is our area forecast discussion which gives more details. Click on forecast discussion on the blue bar on the left of the screen. The synopsis at the top gives the main concerns over the next week. The discussions below give more detailed thoughts by the forecasters including timing, confidence, and various impacts. Use our online storm report page if you're in doubt about whether this is a hazardous weather condition. Do not use this when there's a fast-moving danger, such as a tornado. Click on the Weather Spotters link on the blue bar to get to the Weather Spotters page. Weather Spotters page has many useful links, such as educational resources, the link to the Spotter Report page, and the spotter checklist. When you've completed this course, take the online spotter exam at the link below. This is a brief non-technical exam which will remind and reinforce some of the details you have learned in this course. When you pass the exam, we will be notified. You'll be given a personal spotter ID, added to our database, and mailed the spotter package. The spotter package will include a certificate with your ID, weather spotter guidebook, the spotter checklist, and additional resources for you to use. You also get our toll-free spotter line, which you can use to contact us with reports. Make sure to like our Facebook page, which is NWS Sacramento. It is a great source of information from the National Weather Service, and is also a way that you can interact with forecasters. You can post pictures and weather reports here, as well as ask weather-related questions. You're encouraged to post weather photos on our Facebook page, which you can do by clicking Upload Photos and Video. Follow our Twitter page for frequent updates and posts, as well as a chance to post your own reports and photos. Here's an example of a report and photo that was tweeted to our office. Common hashtags we use are pound CAWX and pound Sierra. Wireless alerts can come over smartphones for some events such as tornadoes and flash floods. If you'd like to do daily measurements of precipitation, you're encouraged to join the volunteer Coco Ross Network. You can find out more about the site by going to www.cocoross.org. The Coco Ross program is the Community Collaborative Rain, Hail, and Snow Network. Coco Ross is a community of weather observers all across the country who report rainfall, hail, and snow. These reports are all put through the online website. Go to www.cocoraz.org and see if you may be interested. The National Weather Service, TV meteorologists, and other forecasters use Cocoraz data to enhance their warming and forecast programs. This concludes National Weather Service Sacramento online weather spotter training. If you have any questions or concerns, contact me at eric.kurth at noaa.gov or a warning coordination meteorologist Michelle Mead at michelle.mead at noaa.gov. Thank you very much for watching these presentations. <music>